We're live. With the third and final part of the Onimusha trilogy. And between these three games, hell, probably all four main games, if we're being honest, probably the most ridiculous. Oh, this is gonna be something. And as you might expect, there's also like a. There's also a movie that plays if you like. A, if you stay on the title screen for a while, like I am right now, or more specifically, when you boot up the game. And I would be remiss if I did not show this off, like at the start here, lest anyone looks back through these VODs and wonders why the hell I did not show, like, what some might call the greatest CG opening cutscene. Of this console generation. So we're gonna let it play. Because it's pretty goddamn amazing. Like I'm pretty sure it's got like it's own whole story behind how it even got made. But yeah just like a text recap of. Hey Onimusha 2 happened. Jubei did this thing. Uh, but Nobunaga's back. Because he basically said he'd come back like Dracula. Again, just think for context how it's like we went from the CG opening of Onimusha 1 to 2, and now 3. And just how much this stuff has advanced in the span of what was basically 3 years. In fact, making this particular video, I think, took the about the same amount of time as the rest of the game's development. <laughs> like, there was so much time and money being poured into this. Because look at the choreography on display right now. <laughs> As this mysterious masked ninja with an Oni Gauntlet and the Fire Sword from Onimusha 1 is laying waste to these Genma soldiers. I mean, you can probably already guess who this person's supposed to be. But they're clearly holding off on, like, the face reveal until they get the perfect shot. You know this. Just tosses the dude out so that, like, one of his flying buddies can just eat him. <laughs> Alright, a ninja versus two moblins. Yeah, they really do just look like freaking pig demons. They're just moblins from Zelda. And there's the face reveal! Freaking Takeshi Kaneshiro is back. <laughs> I bet, like, they knew how much people love Samonosuke. They weren't going to make another game without him. They just weren't. Leave him be. Hmm. I'll take care of him. Galaganto. I'm pretty sure it's Gargant, but this translation just like just you like screwed up. Not meet Nobunaga. Also, hi Robin Atkin Bounce. You're honestly kind of less of a fit for Sam's English voice actor than I think even the first game's dub actor was. Yeah, like all the all this crazy stuff going on for this sequence that is effectively the game's prologue. Like this is effectively a level and boss fight that could have been part of the game, but they decided because Capcom had the money to just relegate it all to this lavish five-minute CG opening cutscene. That I'm pretty sure is like, if you ever boot up the game to play it for whatever reason, you are required by law to let this one cutscene run in full before you can start. I think I may still have a bit more personal bias towards the opening CG of Onimusha 2, but this is still... This is still way more advanced and super impressive. 
I just definitely had a thing for like the like the montage of like your supporting cast and Imusha to getting like a like stage production style transitions. Like that like that was a cool stylistic choice. Ah, yes, the Oni form. Like this, like, this game's definitely fond of the aesthetic for people turning into the Oni Musha, where it's dark, dark skin and bluish white hair. Oh, ripped Gargant. You are not going to be... Uh, you will not be fought as a boss in this game. For real. You will be a... Uh, you will be a boss in Dawn of Dreams, actually. That's the funny part. It's like that game's like... Like, as budgety as Dawn of Dreams is... I did get a kick out of, like, the point that I got to during, like, my... Like, side playthrough... We're just one of the bosses is just straight up Gargan. Like they realize that they should have let you fight him. Also, hey, Jean Renault's in. Yep, this is the game everyone remembers precisely for that. Like I'm pretty sure, unless I'm missing something obscure or bad, this is Jean Renault's only likeness appearance in a video game. They got him on board for this one of all things because th they because KG Inafune was bothered by the low sales of Onimusha 2 in Europe, so felt that they that he had to adjust course by including a French actor. And then this game, in terms of total units sold, somehow ended up selling less overall than two, so they just went back to being a full samurai game for Dawn of Dreams, but made it more anime. Like, like, this series is great, but I say that, like, its greatness it exists, like, pretty much in spite of, of Inafune's involvement. Remember, he's a businessman, not a creator. Straight from Kamiya's mouth. Hello? Henri? Ah, oh, c'est toi, papa. <laughs> Henri, tu dors encore. Lève-toi vite, sinon tu vas être en retard à l'école. N'oublie pas de te brosser les dents. And yes, si this is actual Jean Renault speaking French. They get him to speak okay. French for I for like maison, a total of three Dis minutes across all the cutscenes that he speaks French. Fait. I'm pretty sure, like two to three minutes of recorded lines from him because they could not afford more. Je dois te laisser en vie. Qu'est-ce qui se passe, Philippe? All right. It's even funnier if you use his alternate costume because he has another pair of smaller sunglasses underneath the sunglasses. <laughs> so yeah, this game, Onimusha, supposed to be set in feudal Japan with samurai and whatnot and demons, but we're starting in modern day Paris. What the fuck? Oh yeah, it turns out demons are actually invading here now as well. Yeah, and you can obviously tell how, like, this... Like, this pre-rendered cutscene is nowhere near the fidelity of the one that Robot gave them for, like, the opening. Like, this is just slightly gussied up PS2 models. But never mind that. We gotta go back to Japan. In the past. Still feels kind of weird going to this game after replaying the first 20 Musha and just being hit with, oh yeah, everything 
like all the graphics in this are 3D polygons. The backgrounds are no longer pre-rendered. And honestly, it looks better than I was like giving it credit for, I'd say. Like how I was kind of talking about the graphical change going from two to three. You have done well. Hey, Richard Epcar. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> for you, Noble Semenosuke. But like, like I think I made offhand like the sort of comparison to uh, what it was like going from the PS1 RE's to Code Veronica. Men, our enemy lies in Hanoji Temple. Attack! But like, but like, just the way everything looks, it's definitely got more vibrancy and detail going on than Code Veronica's graphics did. So, yeah, yeah, this fared a lot better. I'd still. I would have still preferred, like, another Onimusha game with pre-rendered backgrounds just to, like, keep the visual consistency. Like, just think of all the different ways they could have tried to advance that further. Alright, first things first. We got all three of our weapons from the first Onimusha, actually. And we can shoot projectiles while still having our main weapon equipped. Thank Christ. Like, ugh, after some of the bullshit that I was dealing with near the end of Onimusha 2, with all the archers and whatnot, like, it is such a relief to get back to just, uh, to, just to have this as an improvement. Yep. We still got our Esens. They're back. And weirdly in this game, I find it a lot better, a, a lot easier to get block Esens of all things rather than just standing ones. Assuming I can get them. Yeah, like that. And Esens in general also come out way faster in this game than they did in 2. At least, like, it's the sort of thing that... Like, people say... Like, getting E-Sense in this game is easier than it was in 2. Which, by extension, was easier than it was in 1. Which, the easiness from 1 to 2, I understand. I totally felt that. But, hold on. Ah, come on. I just want to farm some souls out of this first before I finish my thoughts. Oh, come on. This is what I hate about, like, having these side characters. Come on. And then... There we go. Look at that. We got quite a lot already. Yeah, I'm still only really good enough at, like, getting, like, two chain on average. Ah. Except that. Hold on. Oh! Oh, look at that! We got a four. How nice. Wow, we're... Oh, yeah. Just gotta get as much of this chained as possible. Come on. God. Are you gonna? Ah, shit. And... Ah, damn it. I almost got it. I just want to finish this off proper. Ah. 
Got it. I do appreciate the added detail now of, like, when you get, like, those critical hits on on demons. Like, the, at least the small fry, like those soldiers. They will get sliced in half. All right. But yeah, it's like, it's a weird thing where it's like, I don't disagree with the sentiment that, like, doing e -sends, like, in general, across all their different types is, like, somehow easier in, uh... In, in this game compared to two. Because it's like, they speed up, like... Like, like, here's the thing. With Onimusha 2, like, as you saw when I played through that game and was just chaining Esens left and right throughout that. Like, yeah, the, the thing that made it easier was that they went out of their way to, like, not only telegraph a lot more of, like, the enemy's tells, but also just have, like, a bigger variety of attacks with, like, certain attacks that are just bona fide better to play, uh, to, like, get Esens on because the window is so wide. It's a lot easier to catch, like, when the apex of their swing is about to happen, which is usually the point where you can just do a standing crit. But here, I find this, like, the standing e sends a lot harder to pull off, just because of how much faster everything is. And by, and that inversely makes the block e sends a lot easier, because you just default to that mentality of, like, you just, you just defend things. And then you get the attack off. And, like, whether it's a standing, like, neutral Isen or block Isen, both of them come out extremely fast and don't have, like, that sort of recovery near the end. Or, like, deliberate pause that made it a lot easy to pull off chains in the, per in the previous game. In this, it's like... Like, it, like I, I swear, it's it starts reminding me of, like... What it's uh, how difficult it is sometimes trying to time your button presses for a uh, for a combo in like a Street Fighter or something like that. Anyway, let's uh, let's hum hum humiliate Ranmaru Mori. Come on. Done. <laughs> yeah, your Onimusha form just lets you easily chain those crits if you get the initial timing to start the chain. <laughs> It's fucking hilarious. And don't feel bad about me wasting my my purple orbs right there. We we technically lose them all after this cutscene anyway. I just like doing that. Because that's not the last time we're gonna be dealing with Ran Marumori for this entire playthrough. He He keeps trying to act like he's important. Oh man. God, I still find it funny, though, how they continue to make Nobunaga look more and more evil and demonic with each game. Like, I swear, if they could get away with it, Capcom would have absolutely tried to, like, transition Onimusha into basically being its own Castlevania, where the villain, the end villain, is always going to be Nobunaga. And it's about, like, new warriors having to rise up and deal with this asshole every time he wants to conquer Japan and the world. And I don't think that would have been nearly as endearing as Iga made it when he took over the Castlevania series with Symphony and maintained it until Konami Mercury Steam had to murder it three times. But now we're back in Paris. Guns barely do shit against them. All these dudes wielding FAMAS and P90s. Because that's what Japan thinks is cool, I guess. As far as guns go. Oh, yeah. That's a hell of an entrance. Yep, yep. Uh, Jacques has a has a P90. 
Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention with like how this game plays. Now that like it has proper 3D backgrounds. Uh, the game is like, you know, we're actually going to let you use the analog stick for movement. And it, and it uh, functions like it would in any other 3D game. But you still have tank controls as an option. So like I am using the D-pad right now. I am pressing back and sidestepping like normal, but I am also, I can also use the left analog stick to move in my character in the direction relative to the screen. It's not a bad compromise, all things considered, but I don't know what it is. I think it's because trying to do tank controls like this in an area where like the camera's constantly moving instead of like the hard cutaways, I think it disorients me more than it would otherwise in a classic RE. So all these FAMASs just don't seem to do shit against them, but Jacques's got a, a P90 that can just lay waste. Alright. And oh, look at this! Now Samanosuke is in the future. <laughs> or in the present, which is technically the past, because this is Paris 2004. <laughs> oh, and this isn't the end of the weirdness, by the way. Just you wait. The magic power. Mm. Which, that old scene's supposed to imply that, like, the power that gave him, like, yeah, like his, uh, like, the, the orbs were power enabling Onimusha mode, and they are gone, and also, his three, like, his three weapons from the first game are no longer in his inventory, except, oh wait, because this is a clear file that met the, uh, that has the conditions to unlock them at the start of the new game. We could just pick them up again right now. <laughs> they still all function pretty much like they did in Onimusha 1, which means they kind of miss out on a few of, like, the goodies that, like, Semenosuke's new weapons are going to get in this game. But before we go forward, this game has a training mode. And I'm actually going to go out of my way to, like, do each of these as they come up, at least most of them. Because there there are still some rewards you can get from this, mainly health items. Okay, one more. Like so. Yeah, this is all just about telling you, hey, not only should you guard, but also there's an importance to doing a just defend. Not necessarily to do the e-send follow-up, but in this case, it's like if you just defend from an enemy attack, it gives you two souls instead of one. Of course, you could just be, like, very safe and hold it the entire time and then, like, absorb the souls afterwards, but that's not nearly as fun. Okay. Let's go. It is so hard for me to, like, actually just defend this dude. Even though I'm pretty sure that, like, his back fist, like, from standing is definitely, like, the best opportunity to, like, get an e -sen on him. I think that's, like, the only time I've actually gotten one on him, but, like, it's so difficult to pull off. Oh, yeah, and, of course, like, the overhead is, like, designed to guard break.
Oh, fuck. Well, yeah, that's also, like, another problem. It's like, if he doesn't do the backhand, he'll just grab you. And done. And what do we get for it? Just an herb. Yeah, that's fine. Now, this one's all about the lock-on and also encouraging you to, like, hit enemies in the back. Ah. Come on. Oh, yeah, but also the important thing is that you only get the orbs if you hit them in the back while locking on. I hit them while I was not holding R1, and you saw what happened there. So yeah, that's not too bad. There's basically three levels to every single one of these categories. And obviously this kind of highlights, like, the benefit of... You know, you don't always need to lock on because while your sidestep has a pretty quick start, it's sometimes practical to just run. Yeah, yeah, we're already at only three, Arian. Yeah, yeah, that's just kind of how it ended up. Like, the other times I streamed the, the second game were, like, in the evening. That kind of just didn't hit your time zone. I mean, the VODs are still up. You can always check those. But yeah, we're, we're already maximizing on, like, the game's training mode that, like, it lets you access very early on. So we, w uh, so we did, like, the first level at Honoji. We just chumped Ranmaru Mori with, like, a four-chain crit in Oni mode. Now, this one is, like, a pain in the ass to do normally. So this is what I actually do. Just a sec. We do that, and then get this dude to spawn. And then, like, get... And then get souls from their back while they're still spawning. And then kill repeat. Okay. And there we go. That admittedly took me a long time until I realized that it's okay to, like, kill enemies because they're just going to respawn until you meet the condition otherwise. And now archery. Definitely... This is definitely one feature that I seriously, seriously wish could have been backported into Onimusha 2. Because it would have helped so much. With, like, some of the bullshit you had to deal with archers in that game. And there we go. Like, at, like, it's just as, like, the description shows. It's like when you lock on, instead of pressing square to attack, like, with your sword, like you normally would, or any weapon that you would equip in the first two games, you just press X. And the idea is that if you simply tap it, it will always default to enemies that are up in the air. But if you hold it, it'll target enemies on the ground. It obviously means, like, again, like... I'd, I'd say that's a pretty good way of prioritizing it, because what it means is, like, you should still try and use your melee for, like, ground enemies, which will come out faster that way. But, and save your archery, your projectiles, for when you're trying to hit enemies that are up in the air that your sword can't reach. Again, such a genius addition, really. All right, advance. The last one. Who are we pitting up against? I think it's the ninja type enemies. Yeah, it's that and Ah, 
Ah, hold on. Yeah, I generally don't care about trying to like get orbs from like these uh, these ninjas. Ah. That said, though, if there are no airborne enemies, if you just tap the button, it'll, like, lock on to, like, uh, the nearest ground enemy anyway. Anyway, no, that's it. We got our healing items that we need, and I'm gonna do absolutely all I can to stock up on those. Ugh. And now to continue forward in this insane fucking game, for sure. So I hope everyone else is down for it. They literally do not understand each other. They're speaking different languages completely. Into the Terminator time warp with you, Jean Renault. Oh. Again, I need to emphasize for people who may see this for the first time. This is still not the weirdest it ever gets in this game. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a returning baddie from the from the first Tony Musha, freaking Gildenstern. And anyway, I want to try and just get into standing East and just to Yeah, okay. Yeah, that works, but it's like you uh, just like the the button timing for getting that chain to come off is like so much harder in general than it is in in Onimusha 2. Yeah, just keep absorbing as much souls as I can in abundance. Whew. All right, come on, what you got? Ah, shit. Ooh, double kill. That's still my favorite part about Isen. It's like when you get enemies lined up just right, it's like it's not one critical strike per enemy. It can sometimes kill multiple. Damn it. That, that, that... That lunge is so hard to get. Oh, well, back to blocky e sends I go. Even though it's probably not going to give me the most money. Oh, missed, missed the timing for the fourth. God damn it. Okay, fine. Let's see if I can get you this way. We'll get, we'll get a two chain. We'll try that. Oh! Okay, come on. Get closer, everyone. Don't have all day. Ah, damn. Wasn't close enough. Yeah, overhead swing is still, like, just the, uh, on the easier side of things to, like, do a standing e -sen. Yeah, it's just... It's weird. Like, I know, like... There's generally good reasons to appreciate when, like, the pace of combat becomes much faster. But I do... I do kind of miss, like, 
the fast but still more measured pace of, like, getting Isen chains in Onimusha 2. Like that, like, every aspect of, like, the Isen animations just comes out, like, a bajillion times faster. Like, startup, active frames, recovery, all of it. It's kind of insane. Like, again, that's the big reason for why I always say that, like... Hold on. There we go. That said, though, like... Even if everything does come out faster, I do appreciate that they seem to have, like... Near limitless range on, like... How far you can just zip to the other enemy to continue a chain. Yeah, that's just easier to simply block and then critical as opposed to simply doing a standing e send. Like the like the like the startup is so long and then like when it becomes active it takes so it, it is so difficult to properly react to from neutral man thank god i'm playing this on a crt if i'm being honest god knows just how like <coughs> god knows how much like a critical mode playthrough of like this or onimusha 2 would become next to impossible if you're playing this on modern displays with just like the inherent latency that all of these have. Granted, the audio is being piped into my headphones from, like, the capture device at OBS, which is, like, off by just only the tiniest few, like, milliseconds. But that doesn't really stop me from being able to, like, get the e timings properly, because it's entirely visual. Like, you could get criticals in this game with, like, the sound off. Like, that's how much... That's how important just, like, seeing the frames of animation are. Hey, <laughs> just standing there stone-faced as, like, guns are being pointed at you because you don't understand what they're saying. And it's like, you come from an era where just the idea of, like, putting your hands up at gunpoint just was not a thing. <laughs> no, clearly he doesn't. Like, how are you not at all put off by the fact that he's a Sam dressed as, like, in feudal Japanese armor? Like, what the fuck, lady? You wait. Oh, man. Oh, hey, it's those particular Genma that we went up against in the training menu. Yeah, that's kind of a premature introduction if you really think about it. <laughs> Well, yeah, it took your time, Samanosuke. Okay. Oh, yeah, and we still got charge attacks as well by, like, the same input method. But it also includes the other nice thing that, like, Genma Onimusha did on the Xbox, which is... No, you can still charge up by just holding the attack button. But I think spending so much time on Onimusha 2 again has kind of ruined my brain that, like, I, I am now physically trained to grip that R1 button as hard as I can.
Like, yeah. This is if I'm just holding square. And, but the thing that also works a bit differently is that, like, once it's charged, like, if you're doing it this method, you have to press the square button again immediately after. Or, hold on. Okay, no, it's like when you're locked on is the thing. Because doing it that way just produces, like, a normal combo hit. Oh, speaking of combo hits, I gotta... I gotta do some practice to try and, like, pull this off eventually. Oh, hold on. Because there's a thing. Yes, 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 yes! Oh, yeah! Ten points slash, bitches! Woo! I did not expect to pull that off on my first time, considering how, I how like, the Tenso just does its attacks so quickly. But yes, uh, 10 point slash. Another new addition to this game, on top of all the other techniques that were carried over from Onimusha 2. What it is, is uh, when you're at a distance, like not close enough that a forward square does an uppercut, you do your, your lunge. And then after like the attack hits, you Basically, like, after it hits, you have to press square again to initiate the next attack. And when that next attack in the chain hits, you press it again. It's, like, basically the same logic where it's, like, you know if you try and do, like, a, an elaborate combo in, like, a Street Fighter or other 2D fighting game. Where the only way it properly chains is, like, as part of the target is if you press the next button when the animation makes contact with, uh, like, the, the active frames actually connect with the enemy. But obviously, if you don't get the timing right, you don't get the full 10 chain. It's pretty cool, but I'm still gonna go for Esen's, like, pretty much as much as I can. But it's still, like, a great addition to have. It's the sort of thing where it's like, yeah, like, getting reminded of, like, the few additions that were made to, to Onimusha's combat with this game is, like, it's cool. But it still kind of doesn't change the fact that deep down, I kind of wish some of these things had existed in 2. Like, I wish we had, like, press X to whip out your long-range weapon in conjunction with melee. And I wish we had the 10-point slash as well. I want to try and get all three of them here. Can I? Please? Oh, wait. There's four now. Okay, let's try this. Oh, triple kill. Oh, and there we go. Oh yeah, let's absorb as many of these as we can in one go. Nice. Oh. That that was good. Yeah. Yeah, this game's still awesome to play. Even if it's not really like my go-to for what I would like want out of my ideal Onimusha game. Like something that has like Something with the challenge and like specific mechanics of Genma Onimusha combined with like the scope and like like, fantastical version of Japanese history that, like, Onimusha 2 has. I could probably do without the gift exchange system, as unique as it was, but it's... Yeah. It's fine. Wait, hold on. I want to enhance first. Because we definitely got enough. I could upgrade Oni Gauntlets because the... The auto Esen 7 chain is still in this game under the same conditions. If you have access to level 3 charge attacks and you do an Esen while holding that charge. So, I'm actually going to do that for Samonosuke specifically. But when it comes to our second playable character, I will switch over to just upgrading 
his weapons first, because yeah, surprise, Jean Renault is our other playable character. Like, let's just get level three charge attacks unlocked as soon as possible, because those I think are just as practical. Because again, think about it. They are like a practical substitute for magic attacks, and they don't require because they don't require your magic meter. And obviously, magic attacks become more potent if you have your weapon upgraded itself. Okay. Imagine Capcom hires Jean Renault and make him a one-off in the opening cutscene. Oh, God. I'd be pissed if I was him, if that was the case. <laughs> like, that's how they get people, like... Like, that. Like that's how they... Get people in to buy more copies of this game as if they just get them for one scene as as a way to trick them. <laughs> but no, they 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 paid for that likeness. They were gonna keep making use of it throughout the entire game. Time for what? What are you? So this is all you're doing. <laughs> no, just. Where are we? I mean, even thinking about it, the idea of Jean Reno being in this game would not have seemed so far-fetched if they just had it be, like, he played a character from, like, like 16th century Europe who traveled to Japan, you know? Just go full William Adams on this shit. Yeah. Yeah, music is consistently good in this series. Even the music from Orimusha 1, which was ghost-written by the dude that, like... Or rather, that oh, that was like credited to the dude that pretended to be deaf, but was a hack and responsible for the for the Resident Evil DualShock Edition soundtrack. Brainster, God, oh, I forgot how stupid this name is. He's the kind of mad scientist who just like has all of his creations, like they have some part of his, their creator's name applied to him. Gildenstern, Brainstern, and just. Jesus Christ, come on. Alright. Very nice. Good, we're already back to three orbs. Nice, okay. Okay, I, I, I'm just gonna do everything I can to get these, uh... Ah, crap. Oh, no. There, like, there's certain East End timings you can get for this that are just so difficult to pull off sometimes. But I want to just get 10 point. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. I, I, I'm bad at, like, gauging the proper range for this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. And it's, and like, it's great, too, because of how it produces orbs. Okay. Oh, no. Come on. Just stop doing that move. Ah, fuck. Come on. Oh, no. I don't want to... Yeah, I'm, I'm not using a healing item here. I know I can do this without wasting, like, an herb or medicine. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. Oh. Come 
Come on. Worst boss in the game, hands down. Kinda. Like, wh like when he's trying to, like, do, like, when he's always doing, like, that, that spinny move. It is such a shame. Like, theoretically, you could e-send that, but it is just, meh. It's not worth it. So many of the bosses, I still don't find worth it to, like, try and get Isen uh, attacks on them. Because it's so much harder to read, like, which attacks are, like, able to be countered. So it's more practical to rely on, like, magic attacks, charge attacks, or better yet, like, what I was trying to do, combining charge attacks with the 10-point slash, because they change the way they work in this game. Like, like Onimusha 2, like, when you did the different charge attacks, they produced clearly different results. One was, like, a very wide slash that knocked enemies away. The other was a, like, level 2 was, like, an uppercut that had a follow-up that slammed down. And then level 3 charge was, like, a 3-hit combo with, like, an additional 4th if you press the button. And that one was, like, strong enough to, like, one-shot some of, like, the early game big enemies. Like, it was really good. And I think if I recall correctly, they basically changed that so that it's... Philippe? It doesn't really produce the same results. It, uh, like, it doesn't produce unique attack animations. It just increases, like, the power of your next hit, which is why it is so potent with the 10-point slash. Wow, fucking diss as, like, as you were dying. Oh, I could have died with my family. Why did it have to be with you? Which sounds like something an insane person would say because I would be honored to die next to Jean Renault. Oh, boy. Yeah, this game... This game's story just gets so much more stupid. Joker from before was actually because of that scene. Imagine him dying here and you play his friend for the rest of the game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. The Adventures of Samanosuke and Philippe. Oh, that that would be a hell of a hell of a swerve. <laughs> All right. Now, one thing I'm definitely going to have to quickly remind myself of once I get to it is I don't. I know the 10-point slash is something you can do with, like, Samonosuke, but I don't think Jacques, which is Jean Renault's character, which, uh, to be fair, I should just... I feel tempted to not refer to him as his in-game character name. I'm just going to keep calling him Jean Renault because it is way too funny to keep referring to the jarring fact that we have Jean Renault in a game about samurai and demons. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I nearly forget, too. His name is Jacques Blanc, which the motherfuckers called the Frenchman Jack White. Like, they just came up with the French version of, like, one of the most generic white Englishman names they could come up with. Like, I'm surprised they didn't come up with a name that directly translates to John Smith. But, I mean, it's not surprising Capcom would go this route. They called the evil cult in Resident Evil 4 Los Illuminatos. Uh, Illuminatos. The, uh, the Enlightened Ones. Like... <laughs> oh, come on. Anyway, uh, we got a whip now. This is admittedly just, like, one of the coolest parts about Onimusha's, like, this entire playstyle they came up with for Jean Reno in 3. It's like they had the idea of, like, the Blades of Chaos before Gods of, God of War did, where it's like, no, nah, you got, like, you uh, you got, like, long-range... Well, okay, no, maybe it's not exactly Blade of Chaos, but it's the idea of, like, it's chain-based weapons. So, yeah, we can whip enemies and, like, strangle them. Shoot them and all that for good measure. Ow, oh, fuck. Okay, come on. Get up. I forget if there's a rock that we can... Yep, we can do that. We can't throw this guy, though, so, like, I'm just... I'm just lassoing him and then, like, uh, shooting him to make orbs pop out. But yeah, it's, like, a cool gameplay system. Like, they... 
Like, Onimusha 2 had the five playable characters. You spent most of it as Jubei, who was basically oh. Semenosuke 2.0. And then you had Oyu, Kotaro, Magoichi, and Eke, and they had their own different weapons. You know the title track for this game goes, I'm an Oni, I'm an Oni, I'm a Frenchman in the feudal ja in feudal Japan. Oh, that gets stuck in your head as well. Oh, no. Oh, no, I've, I've got to try and avoid that if I can. <laughs> But yeah, they went from like five playable characters, which were mostly you, similar, and it had like a man, couple unique traits across all of them. I am speaking directly to your mind now. <laughs> Mark but here they were like, okay, let's scale that back to two characters, you and each of them have Japan. like core I fundamental differences in like weapons and combat approach. We are here. Your son is in your time. <laughs> what you just saw was an illusion. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire, une illusion d'optique Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire This land is overrun with Genma, whose design is to... Here we go, this was the game that... After two games that of, like, game not good translations, finally got it through their heads, right. The bad now, demons are the Genma. The good demons that aid you are the Oni. They finally called the demons you fight in this game, the Genma. They did get the Oni part corrected in Onimusha 2, whereas Onimusha 1, they just called them ogres, which made no, no fucking sense. Like, this game is not called Ogre Musha. <laughs> yeah, Jean Reno doesn't want to be in this anymore. He got paid for two minutes of casting. Bend your help to this one. Oh, God, this fucking character. <laughs> Admittedly, she's not as bad as Jean Renault's son, but oh, boy. They had to include this character type in this game. Admittedly, she has some pretty good gameplay applications. But oh, oh, God. They, uh. Yeah. Hey, uh, Pops. No need to get all worked up. And now the French is going to stop momentarily. I'm Akko. I'm a Tengu. Pleasure to meet you. What's going on? I can understand you. Oh, it's my power. <laughs> and and his English voice actor is... I, got lots of I don't know what it is. I like, I, I swear, this might be me, but... I don't like flies. Now buzz off. <laughs> so... I've listened to some of, like, the Japanese voice track for this game. I think... I think the Japanese voice actor for Jean Reno's character in this game does a better job of sounding like, what if Jean Reno suddenly spoke Japanese? This just sounds like, no, we got a completely different person to dub over him. It is so jarring in this game. Again, it's the same thing where it's like, again, they have Robin Atkin Downs as Samonosuke, who is like a weird less of a fit, I think, than even his nobody Canadian English voice actor in the first game. <laughs> we could still Isen <laughs> dudes pretty well as Jean Reno, though. He's pretty good. But now we have Akko the Tengu just falling around. And has, like, the very nifty feature, actually, of serving as our lock-on indicator. As you'll see momentarily. See? I'm holding R1. And then... Hold on. Let me just... There we go. Are you gonna? Okay, come on. Okay, please, for God's sake, will you just get down? Oh, these things. They, they are literally sin scissoring through the environment right now. Ah, uh, didn't get the critical on them, but it's fine. Yeah, Robin Akin down to Semenosuke is very weird. Especially with what we're about to see coming up, actually. 
because there's not just one Samonosuke in this game. There are two. <laughs> there is the modern Samonosuke that gets warped to the future. And then we're gonna get a uh, past Samonosuke who is just a uh, who, who is just a polished up version of the Onimusha 1 Samonosuke. <laughs> You're about to see very soon. <laughs> Also, I am surprised that I am getting the standing Esens pretty well when I'm streaming. Whereas my practice runs, I felt like I was having a lot of issue getting adjusted. And yep, there he is. There's OG Samonosuke. Who is this? <laughs> That is so raw. I fucking love uh, uh, Jean Reno's like down attack finisher, where it's like he just whips out a pistol and just caps the dude. <laughs> there we go. It is kind of a pain though trying to like get all these e sends when. Sam's just killing everyone for you. It's you, that man who appeared in Paris. You sent me here. Tell me, how do I get back? Let go of me. <laughs> what is it that you speak of? Are you a Western barbarian? <laughs> Stop it, <Sean. laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, real great way to make a first impression, dude. Magic power. His name is Semenosuke. His name is Takeshi Kaneshiro. All right. Why should I believe this? And now they're up to date. Because apparently it's true. Very well. But what were you doing here, Samonosuke? I came to look for Genma. They've been active lately. This is Mount Hiei. After Nobunaga set fire to the temple 11 years ago, killing those inside, the mountain was tainted with evil. Now it is a cesspool for Genma. So... The only way to return to my time is to defeat the Genma. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're stuck like this for the foreseeable future. Let's go. I must return to my time. <laughs> Until then, I'm depending on you. Yeah, yeah, you my did. I, I let it run at the at the very start. And and talked about it quite a bit, just like the just the insane amount of money and time put into it. Like, I'm pretty sure based on anecdotes I've heard, it basically... W that cutscene was in development for the same amount of time as the rest of the game. Like, so much money being dumped into it being, like, one of the most amazing things ever. But it's still a pretty cool cutscene. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, there's the whole thing with vests in this. Like we can equip different vests on Akko, our little Tengu girl. But <laughs> that, but like, yeah, yeah, you can't imagine with just the fact that they were able to produce a cutscene like that in 2004 and put it on a disc. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. Like that's movie quality. But yeah, the vests, like this whole system where it's like. You collect them for Akko, but you can't equip them until you, like, invest, like, these eco-spirits into them. Which, I'm gonna try my best to, like, get all of them as I come across. I have a walkthrough on hand for, like, the entire game that just lets me know, like, with maps and everything of, like, where all different items are. But I'll do my best. I'm actually not sure if, like, you can take vests with you into the training mode, because depending on if you can, that might make the critical training, like, doable, possibly. God, again, just... Like, Samonosuke's down finisher is as simple as just plunging a sword into them. Jean Reno just shoots you until you die. <laughs> The same kind of object was in here, too. 
<laughs> it was in, right. yeah I, I think it was more closer to five but yeah it definitely goes on for that long i Let's i did also research. point out the funny All part right. where it's like it's a five minute lavish cg cutscene that is basically the game's prologue there was an entire level and boss fight that could have been part of the game but they were like no this needs to be watched as like the most expensive cg cutscene put into a video game Which, it's funny, be considering that character that Samonosuke fights in the cutscene, Gargant, combined with, like, this location we're going through, it's like... Like, it is no wonder that Dawn of Dreams just, like, reused this environment and that character as a boss fight in, in Dawn of Dreams. But it feels weird when they do it in Dawn of Dreams, but that's just because of how much that game is, like, extremely low budget. Like, in its presentation. Yep. Yep, that is indeed Jean Renault. Hey, Asio. It's kind of a shame, though, that it's like the, uh... That, uh... That Samonosuke is the one that can equip a, uh... That can equip a gun. Uh, not a gun, no. Like, that can equip, like, a bow and arrow like long range weapons to use on these flying enemies but because Jean Renault here has an energy whip lasso like that 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 basically nullifies the need for a di different range weapon I get stuck at a temple and never finished it oh yeah like I this game's weird for me when I played it I only ever got to the, like through it all once but the time at which I played it was a very weird time in my life because that was around the time when I had first gotten, like, when I first got sciatica. And it was fucking me up so bad because I had no idea how to deal with that kind of pain. So that, uh, like, I got to, I think it was the penultimate level of the game. And I had to stop because I just could not, like, it was no longer comfortable or safe for me to live in, like, my apartment with, like, the pain and I just needed help. And then, like, once I had gotten it more under control, I did go back to this game, but, like, the final two levels felt especially hard for me to get through because it had been so long. Like, I could have just started the game over again, but I was like, I am, the walkthrough says I am literally at the penultimate level. I am straight up at the Eiffel fucking Tower. Like, so, it was kind of a rough finish. Like, it, like, it was a rough path across the finish line for me. So, like, it's why, I think, uh, combined with that, why this game just did not jump straight up to, like, the top of, like, my ranking for the series. But I'm curious to see how that might change doing it as a stream now. Ah, come on. Get the chain. Oh, man. Not so good games can still have have good moments. True. And it's not to say that, like, this game is, like, bad or anything. I, th I thought it was still really good. But it's, like, there are so many unique things about the first two games as well that they have going on for them that it's like it's hard for me to not like appreciate those a bit more in some regards so yeah this is like the tutorial essentially to let you know a bit more about how the uh the oni bind system works so yeah this is like if you just throw them with like the analog stick this is if you specifically press down on the D-pad and square, toss them behind you. That's forward on the D-pad and square. And that's if you just shoot them. Oh yeah. It's kind of crazy that this is the only game that has this sort of feature. I oh, thinking about it. Like, Oni 1 and 2 don't have it, and weirdly enough, Dawn of Dreams lacks it completely. Just from what little I played. It's, it's kind of crazy. 
but also really helpful considering how much like the Onimusha series is like it's built around the idea of like a game mechanic that is all about like frame perfect button presses. And again, it's good to still do these training exercises because uh, if you complete beginner, intermediate, and advanced in a category, it gives you a healing item. Or any kind of item, I think. So that's pretty good. Oh. And also, the nice thing as well is, like, if you can... Pull it off, like, enemies that, uh, like, collide with the one that you're grappling and throwing around. Like, they, they get knocked away as well. I'm also not meaning to do E-Sends at that moment, but they're kind of automatic because the window on some of them is insanely huge. Yeah, look at that, just the, the way you can just knock them away like that. Yeah, it's like, like, what a cool way to make, like, a second playable character in Onimusha that is, like, that has a lot more distinct, unique systems to it than any of, like, the other playable characters have in past games. And then they found a way to, like, I think one-up this even further with what I've seen of Dawn of Dreams. Because that, go that goes back to five playable characters, and, like, their play styles are pretty wild. Okay, let's just keep going. Yeah, so that that's basically all you're seeing of like what all the different throws you have on offer. You either like you you lasso them and you either like do like a forward throw or like a behind the or a behind throw, which uh yeah, you can like do that still with the analog stick, but like it's entirely based on what Jean Renault's like facing direction is. And then, of course, you could just shoot them if you don't, if you press square again without doing any additional stick input. Which I, which I do kind of wish the, uh, if you use the left analog stick, you could, like, do way more targeted throws. Like, stuff to, like, the left or right or things like that. But the game just doesn't do that. There we go. Got some medicine. Ah, hold on. Wow, oh wow, it is literally whiffing because it's on the stairs. That's funny. <laughs> Anyway, enough wasting time. Let's actually get, uh... Let's get, uh, our first magic weapon. Like, yeah, that whip we've been using is pretty magical, but we've not had access to any sort of magic attacks. So, naturally, as Simonoski is gonna get three new magic weapons, sh so is Jean Renault. And what better upgrade to a whip than a freaking chain sword? <laughs> It's pretty rad. The Enja. And yeah, we don't get 10 point slash with it. That's just how it is. Which is why I'm going to focus on simply upgrading his uh his weapon's power first in in contrast to Samonosuke. Where I am simply upgrading the gauntlet. Oh, hold on. Uh. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, that was that, that was getting a bit risky. Abari Ran uh, Abari Renji best boy. <laughs> I I I think that's a reference I'm actually not uh, not familiar with, uh, unfortunately. Okay, hold on. Ow! I I hate it when it misses, even when like the range is that wide. Shit. Okay, come on. There we go. Oh, very nice. Come on. All right, absorb all the souls quickly. There we go. Very nice. Is a bleach reference? Oh, fair enough. That like that that makes sense. I don't watch bleach, and I don't really. It's not really my thing. <laughs> okay, another one of these things. Okay, come on. Any more of you? Oh, wait, no, there's one over there. Nobody can hold that against me. Fair enough. No. Oh, come on. Uh, I was not prepared for that. Hold on. Okay, can you just get over here so I can... There we go! I hit him with the rock! That was great. <laughs> yeah, your kind isn't welcome here, boulders. <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. Now then, now that now that we have like our fire whip sword, we can cut at these demon weeds. Like so. That key's gonna be important. There we go. And look at that, we're already close to like four, 4,000 souls absorbed for him. Anyway. Ooh, dice. Why can't you coup de gras them? The, uh, uh, are you referring to, like, the, the critical? Like, uh, or whatever that is? Like, I'm pretty sure, like, when it comes to all the enemies, you can technically get, like, the, the critical attack on them. The e -send, but it's just, it just varies a lot in terms of difficulty. The big guy when he was lying down. Oh, oh yeah, I could, but it's like, uh, but, like, it, it doesn't result in, like, an instant kill if you do it that way. That's the thing. Like, he, he's, like he still has a very big health pool. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, the, the big thing it ultimately encourages with this game, and all the games after a point, is that, like... You should be focusing first and foremost on getting the Isen timings, which I'm still not that good at for all enemies. 
sometimes it's just there's way more risk than I'm willing to put up with. Yeah, we'll just do that. Also, grapple points that show that Jean Reno is just being Nero from DMC4 four years before Nero became a thing. Capcom has always had this idea even before 2008. Though still kind of finicky trying to get it uh, to work. Oh well. Let's head back to that mirror and see if we can upgrade our Eng uh, to level 2. Also an Aladdin on the SNES, that's right, which was also a Capcom joint. Yeah. Grapple points. Capcom seems to love them. Oh, come on. Oh, this asshole's literally blocking me from grabbing the... That purple orb that spawned. You saw it. Oh. Nero just continued the thing that Capcom has with arms. Yeah. That's true. Especially since, like... Yeah, yeah. I guess that makes enough sense with, like, the, uh... I mean, our gaunt... The gauntlet on our arm does make it look suitably demonic enough, I guess. Purple orb. Orb. Oh god, I, 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 I don't need to be reminded about all that. But yeah, like that's a nice contrast. As I said, I'm gonna focus on upgrading. Like the main focus with Jean Reno is upgrading his weapons, and then like once those are like level two, I can focus on like the armor. With Samonosuke, I am focusing on getting his Oni Gauntlet up to level uh, to max level first, and then everything else after, because I want to combine that ten point slash with level three charges. God, going back through this, especially after, like, that brief side playthrough of Dawn of Dreams, it baffles me how it's like... Like, they finally figured out with Onimusha 3 that they can have, like, a character equip both, like, a ranged weapon and a melee weapon. You know, like, full Dante. Like, full Devil May Cry. But then they go away from that in Dawn of Dreams, and the only character that has proper long-range weapons is Ohatsu. Like, it's one member of the playable cast out of five. So, like, those flying bird demon enemies you saw me going up against, you have to deal with them again in Dawn of Dreams, but with four-fifths of the cast not being able to reliably hit them. It's kind of frustrating like that. Okay, are you gonna... Ah, okay. I couldn't chain it, but it's whatever. Oh, time to unlock the gates with the gate key. Well, that was a waste. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The dude, Samonosuke, you actually can do a critical even as an AI. That's amazing. Yeah, just kill them all and I'll absorb all of the souls as they come in. I think that works. Okay. Oh, and another eco spirit. I technically have two, so I could unlock the use of Akko's blue vest, but I'm honestly wanting to hold off on using it until I find something that's more useful to me compared to just, I don't know, freaking, uh, like, just faster soul absorption. I think there's a lot more that I'd rather use. Oh! 
Oh! What was that? Oh, missed my timing on that. Are you gonna kill him or not? Please, thank you. Okay. Coming up on the next boss. Oh yeah, but we also got the this. Okay, let's see if I can remember. No, no, that's not it. Shit. Ah, eh, screw it. Let me get the solution again. <laughs> That's how you know it's demonic. True? Yeah. So... Right, it's that. Okay. And a power jewel. Again, I generally got no qualms with the, uh... Uh, with, the, like, just using a walkthrough to make sure that I don't miss anything important. Because, like, this game is old enough for that to be a problem. Yeah, we'll hold off on that. I forget, there's no new training menus that unlock. No? Okay. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, archery is for Samonosuke, Onibine throwing and all that is for, like, is for Jean. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, every time you enter and exit the training menu, it counts as you leaving and re-entering the area so all the enemies respawn. That's funny. I mean, I might as well. It's free souls, basically. Yo! Thanks for the critical arrow, dude. Okay, now we can- now we can save. Oh, man. Only an hour and 16 into this. Alright. Let me get a drink. All right. Well, Samanosuke. Oh, hey, it's Samanosuke. you who I chumped in like a four chain Isen. Who are you? Ranmaru Mori. Head retainer of the Oda family. Oh. And who's the guest you've brought with you? Perhaps some barbarian mercenary hired out of desperation? You're human, aren't you? Most annoying character? Why nah, you dude. You forgot about Jean Reno's son. <laughs> you forgot about Henri. If you weren't going to die anyway. I mean, it's tied between him and Akko. <laughs> if I'm being fair. Yo, returning Onimusha 1 fight. Will I do the extra campaign? The, the one you play is Heachi? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. I didn't do any of the extra games <laughs> in... Uh, I'm going after him. I didn't do any of like the extra hey. sub games or whatever in only Booster one and two, and I'm probably gonna keep it to that for this one for consistency. All right, here we go. Ah, hold on. Yeah, just gonna keep doing this. Yeah, when he attacks, that's that's when his guard is down, and I can just bind him and like just farm souls out of him with gunshots. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I could kind of see that. Oh my god, it's the weird audio crackling that just keeps happening for some reason. Oh god damn it, no. Oh fuck off. Wow, fuck that. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Literally hit me during wake up. What an asshole. <laughs> The thing is, though, I'm trying to avoid wasting any of, like, my magic, because if I did it now, it would just get absorbed by Marcellus' shield. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna, like, hack at it, because I think eventually he's supposed to, like, uh, his shield is eventually supposed to break away. Yeah, lock him down. What are you gonna do? Uh, kind of? It's, I've tried doing it before, but it is so finicky. It, it's, it's less to get behind his back and more to do, like, a leaping slash as you come down. There it is. But that's also the other thing that you use it for. But you also can't bind him anymore, so I kind of wasted my chance to, like, grind as many orbs out of him as possible. Yo! Okay! Yo! Look at that! <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> ah, crap. Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that's okay, actually, because I've got all five orbs. The Oni Awakening! I want to get that timing again. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, shit. Alright, fine. We'll just do this. Oh, well. I at least got two E-Sends on him, with the second one being somewhat consistent with the first. So, I'll take it. Okay. Is he okay? Damn. I can't die until I see Henri again. Henri? You mean your son? Okay, don't worry. I'll go give him the word that you're safe and sound. What? I told you, I have lots of neat powers. A few hundred and years <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this little pixie tengu can just violate the space-time continuum and jump between points at ease. It's convenient for the game. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they really did feel the need to, like, put a Navi into this game who, like, who speaks way too much in cutscenes. Stop. <laughs> and now all the French people here are going to speak English with her around. Who are you? No. No, he doesn't. Mess. 
Yeah, this is the problem with time travel plots. This is why you don't do them. Wait. I am sorry. I could not save your friends. What? Oh my god. So that was all real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this whole thing is real. France is literally going Damn through hell. <laughs> oh, and, and also she realizes now. What the fuck? I'm speaking English. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's supposed to be Japanese, but obviously, we're playing the U.S. version. <laughs> it's all a dream, like the Flying Crow Fairy. Exactly. Yeah, and that and that's how she ties into like the worst aspect yes. of this game's plot. But Jacques, how can he be in Japan's past? Because uh, let's remind you that Jean Reno has a son in this game. This is hard to believe. Yes, this is clearly either divorced or her uh, or his previous wife passed away. I forget which. Understood. I'll be there immediately. But yeah, they had to put in the whole subplot with his fucking kids not feeling comfortable with the idea of having another mother. <laughs> that would make me feel good. Yes. Yeah, fuck, what, what a fucking weird line there. <laughs> anyway, we need to quickly go back up here, actually, because there's some important things to get. Stepmom and kid bonding over the destruction of France. Pretty much... Oh yeah, and she could just pick up, like, item drops from them. That's nice. Oh, come on. Will you stop doing that leaping bullshit already? Yeah, that is a pretty nice alternate way to, like, go about getting souls, honestly. If you're not gonna go for Essence, at least try to 10-point Slash. It's heartwarming indeed. Yeah. Oh, come on. There we go. Shit. Oh, come on. Unfortunately, I don't like how, like, your your health and, like, magic and whatever still carries over from, like... Uh, crap. No! No! Oh, you fucker! Oh, are you kidding? I didn't even get to a save point! I swear, it's gonna make me fight Marcellus again, isn't it? Oh my god, fuck you, it is. Oh my... No, no, this is normal. This is normal mode. Like, like, like this is a... This by the... This game by default is a significantly harder game as it is compared to Onimusha 2. I'm genuinely starting to think I should have just played on easy considering how long it's been. Like, that. I think that's another big reason for why I didn't really like... I felt like... uh. I wasn't digging this game as much as Onimusha 1 or something. I don't know. It's... Ah, uh, This sucks.
Oh, Christ, this is so terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake. There it is. Oh, come on, that was too early? Oh, fuck you. Yeah, let's just dump all this. I don't care. Yeah, that's a lot better. Just, oh my god. Okay, well, well, at least... I, I, ge I guess, in fairness, I am getting back to where I initially was very quickly, and this game lets you skip cutscenes. This would have been hell otherwise if you couldn't skip them. Just, ugh. I get, like, getting back to my original story of, like, how getting back to finishing this game years ago was really rough because I was on the penultimate level and I had to take a break because of my sciatica. Like, yeah, it's... Is it any wonder that, uh... That, like, my impre impressions near the end was, like, kind of a bit frustrated. But I just need to get back up to the top... Because there was a chest that Akko can unlock that we had to skip the first time. There. Wow, that would that was that went so much smoother than the last time. Yeah, yeah, open it up quickly. Nice. Actually, no, hold on. There's like a... Uh, there's a mirror up here. I'm just gonna save to like... Get, uh, get past it. Uh, until I deal with this. Of course. Will you fucker? Oh my god. <laughs> Please just... There. Where did he didn't find a VA that could speak that high and had that to pitch her up? Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Why is it not aiming for the dude that is clearly up top? Okay, just... Are you going to... Ah, fucker. Ah. There we go. Alright, that's better. Sort of top and bottom joke here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that makes more sense now. Let's actually... Uh... Yeah, just keep dumping everything we got into the Oni Gauntlet. Because I want this... I want our ch our level 3 charge attacks, because that means not only the 10-point slash, but the auto e-send chain. Both of those will be very good and potentially make up for not upgrading our magic weapons immediately. This should hopefully work out. Especially if we are on track to keep getting more and more, like, uh, important items. Including a vest for Akko that just converts all souls released into red souls. Which means more money for upgrades. Okay, I hear them scurrying down at the bottom.
Oh wait, no, they're up top. Nice. All right, now we can continue. We're done with the art that Trion for however the hell it's pronounced. I found it. Oh yeah, we got a we got a chest over there as well. First aid kit. That'll that'll be helpful. Now then. Back to the rest of the game. Although she's probably gonna like shoot enemies as well that will just disrupt. Oh, nice. Not now, Akko. Oh my god, she just blew him up with a grenade. I forgot that she has that. Yep, yep, yeah, she's doing it again. Wow. Wow, no chill. Where the, where were you earlier when you had these stuff that could clearly just kill Genma outright? Man. <laughs> okay. Well, time for the sewer level. It took this series long enough to finally have one. Oh my god, get him off, get him off! <laughs> Remember the valve wheel? Oh yeah, that's right. Ah, come on. Yeah, trying to hit those little slug things is, is, is not a good time. Tell me what happened. You know, it may be nice that this game finally lets you have projectile weapons in conjunction with melee, but it didn't solve the fact that the targeting is kind of all over the place and how in its quality. <laughs> Toilet in the background. <laughs> oh, what you mean the you mean the magic mirror? Yeah, don't mind that. All right, it's a memo. The power is down. Did you ever see those ultra goofy costumes? We'll I have. Manually. Like Semenosuke straight up gets two. One is like a cowboy outfit, and the other is his unlockable outfit from Onimusha One, which is just the big panda Kigurumi that, for some reason, has a front panda pouch. I'm not sure why that was, but oh well. Is there? No, there's no new training. Fine. Save again for good measure. But yeah, Sam and Osuke's costumes in this are always pretty silly, but although genre knows is also like just this is just so hilariously bizarre for him. <laughs> All right, that's closed. Are you gonna? No. Oh wow, that he actually managed to kill all of like the mini slugs that would have like spawned from it. That's that's nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. In order to quick access the map, you need to hold L2 now because R3 activates Oni mode. I feel like those should have been swapped, if I'm being honest. Uh, 
Oh well, it's it's whatever. Okay. Oh, come on. I... Man, now I'm screwing up the timing on that slash. That is weird. Oh, wow, an eco spirit. How convenient. Oh, damn. I know there's like an E-Send timing for that. I just gotta try and get it, if I can. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, yeah, these, these slugs, these slimes, whatever you want to call them. Oh, missed the timing again. Wait, oh, oh my god, like the the spinning. That 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 was a bit weird. Kinda. Get it off, please. Or not. I guess it just goes away after a while. It sucks that... Wait, what? Hold on, what? Oh, what the hell? I forgot that was even a thing. That is so bizarre. There it is. There's the red vest. Nice. Okay. I think we'll unlock this now. I'll do it. I'll keep it equipped. At least until I get to a point where I become dangerously low on health. Because what this does is that it makes sure that all souls released are red souls. And we could stand to use that. That'll be very good. Worker memo. Oh my god, this fucking puzzle. So left is from control room one. Left is number of chairs, number of cassette desks for middle. Right is number of monitors. I sure hope that's not random. Charge attack. Okay, I think this is actually, hopefully that... Scroll, charge, attack, add it to training. Right. Okay. I sincerely hope that whatever that puzzle solution is, it's not randomized. Not working, huh? Oh, wow, it's just straight up screwing with, like, my lock-on. Ah, screw it. Done. Oh, okay. No, this is the combination where it goes. Okay, yeah, the solution isn't random, so I'm just gonna input it here.
three, one, four. All right, we'll go this way then. All right, sliding puzzle again. Done, okay. And an Oni Jewel. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They just... <laughs> Albert just is laying waste. Okay, no. I'm actually a bit too low. I should probably just get some more... Oh! Oh, come on! Ugh. Oh. I really don't want to use a healing item right now if I can help it, but... Oh, wow. Although, actually, because I have full Oni orbs right now, if I were to die here, it wouldn't be too bad. I, I would just revive on the spot. It's... It's all fine. <clears throat> okay. So. Now we just gotta use this handle on something. Oh, God. Damn it. Yeah, just shoot all these things, please. Because Akko just... Oh, finally! I have no idea why it's... Ah. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. But hey, now we can put the red vest back on. We're, we're close to full health. Seriously, those grenades are damn powerful, woman. All right, iron handle goes in. Oh, yeah, they're... I feel like the charge attacks is actually kind of affecting, like, if I can do the 10-point slash, which is surprising to me. All right.
Now we can continue further in this goddamn sewer. Which I definitely question whether or not, like, the Onimusha series really needed to have something like this. But at least they get it out of the way early. Okay, no, it's like... I think it's just like the timing becomes a lot more strict. I have no idea just why it takes so long like for the targeting to actually just work. Uh, although this is pretty silly to deal with one of those latch on. Where just like you hold the lock on and Samanowski just spins in a circle. <laughs> Come on, but I just need my level 3 charge attacks, please. Oh, so close. Oh yeah, let's actually do that charge attack training right now since it's here. We'll get another item out of it. Different charge levels change the magic level. All right, let's do this. Yeah, and as you could expect... Okay, come on. Ah, fuck. There we go. Not too bad. Intermediate. Let's get this over with. Yeah, and it's gonna be real annoying. Oh, come on. Yeah, I still I still kind of miss how like the uh the charge attacks in Onimusha 2 had actual like different animations and use cases. Like yeah, just getting like that kind of slash by itself is really cool, but I guess part of that might be just to better encourage its use by like combining it with uh, uh you know like with your other directional moves because you already have like an uppercut when you're in close range that's basically what the level two charge in onimusha 2 was then also like in even in genma onimusha when they added charge attacks to that like it was still like the same kind of like 360 horizontal slash Yeah, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. All right, advance. What do you got? Yeah, it's a big dudes. Oh my god, this is kind of a nightmare. Why is it... Oh my god. 
Oh, fuck off. No. Now nah, I'm just gonna let him. I need to restart. That, that... This seems a bit too difficult to manage. Because, like, look at the recovery as well. Like, a fucking... How am I supposed to absorb this shit quickly? And now it's gone. You, you fucking assholes. Every time. Oh, fuck off. No. Enough with this command grab bullshit. Like, it, it is a nightmare as soon as they gang up. Like, you cannot. Oh my god, you... Oh, fucking... Ugh. Like... Fucking people that decided that, like, they needed to have the recovery time be this. They are out of their fucking minds. Oh, my God. Oh! Fuck off! Man. Ah! No! Why? They're wanting me to do this shit while knowing full well that, like, I can't- that I have, like, a long recovery time coming out of these charge attacks. And they're exploiting it. They fucking know. I am fucking holding block at the earliest opportunities! Let me There you're through oh my god fuck that And a medicine out of it i'll take it <sighs> All right. God, I sincerely hope as well. Like, the the thing that I noticed that is a nice detail is that yeah, Akko is with you in the uh in the training modes, which has me hopeful that if I ever try my hand at the critical training category, where the idea is that you have to kill all the enemies that come about with uh with critical attacks, with Isen. I sincerely hope that the white vest, I'll be able to acquire it by then. And then just, like, have an easier time figuring out when I should be hitting the button. Special lock prevents me from opening it. Well, that sucks. Yeah, this is silly. <sighs> Alright, forward progress. Let's keep going. Oh, Bear here. Hello? Okay, we're coming. 
My friends are this way. They won't last long. We've got to hurry. Now time to push this big old ball through the canal. Pretty nice water effects, though. Just kind of seeing it ripple across as you run through it. Yeah, let's just keep going, keep pushing, keep pushing. I forget if this actually has like a secret timer. Yes! Thank you. Wow, 300 plus from absorbing all that. That is, oh, it is, it is such a good idea for me to hold on to this. That said, there should be a ladder. There. Okay. I'm trying to remember. I. I hope to God I just not missed a, uh... Oh, there it is. Also, oh god, I just realized I am so low on health now. There we go. Good. Let's keep going. Keep pushing, damn it. Oh, wow. Come on. There. Are you all right? Yes. We barely made it. Who? This Joker. A Japanese samurai. He's a real life ghostbuster. Oh, excuse me. Well, you saved my life. I owe you my thanks. Come on. We got to regroup. That's the most that he is questioning the entire situation. But I guess considering that Paris is under siege from demons, I guess a samurai showing up isn't such a bad thing. Power jewel, thank you. Oh yeah, one more item I need to get from here before we head up the ladder and out of this filthy sewer. Just one more item. And, oh god, that corpse has already got flies swarming around it. Secret medicine. Definitely want to hold on to that one. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of these uh, out of these sewers. They got some nasty growths going on. I'm not. I'm not okay with this. Reequip the Vesta as well, because this is the end of this level. Hey, wait for me! Oh boy, that really stunk. Oh, what is this? He's been holding on to that phone this entire time. It's Jacques. Give it to me. <laughs> no, Hello, it's his Jacques. son. Isn't it? What? Or something. Oh. 
Yes. Yes. We'll talk once we get there. It wasn't Jacques. It was his son, Henri. Yep. Knew it. <laughs> this machine lets you talk to people. Hmm. Let's head to Jacques' house. Just standing there, stone-faced, looking at all of these, like, advanced technological things that do not even exist in his time. <laughs> oh, God. And here he is. He's got a fucking fanny pack on his, uh, uh on his waist with his fucking boy shorts. Hello. Yes, come in. Oh, no. Hello, Henri. Where's Dad? Well, actually... Uh... Uh, here's your new dad. Who is he? <laughs> this is Mr. Samonosuke. He's a samurai from Japan. Serious? Your dad, Jacques, went to a place very far away. He won't be back soon. Wait, well, what? I think I just what clued in. I think Al uh, Albert, like, like that girl's Whoa. voiced by Jennifer oh, Hale. I'm Otto, a Tengu. Yeah, they definitely settled on, like, years in the past. on more recognizable Japan. video game voice Henry, talent for this please, game than they did with Oni 1 and 2, which were just who, whoever the fuck cheapest that we could get from, like, these recording studios in Canada, because we did that for Resident Evil. Ugh. It'll be okay, Henri. Don't touch me! I guess they've got some issues. Okay, I delivered my message to Henri. Now I'll go back to help Jacques. Tell him I'm depending on him. I will. All right, back to Jean Reno in the past. Oh God, now I realize what I should have called this fucking, th uh, like this fucking uh, stream title. Because, as you can tell, I decided to go with the joke of Leon the Professional, but replace Leon with Akechi. But now I just realized what I could have gone with. I could have gone with Samurai Jacques. Motherfuck. God damn it. There are too many good punny titles. Gotta go back back to the past. Samurai Jacques. <laughs> although, although it's kind of fucked up in this case because he's actually needing to get back to the future. <laughs> Yeah, Samurai oh, Jacques. Th that is, future. oh god, that is such a good alternate title for this. Well, let's get going. Oh man. Where else? To find a way back home. Hmm? Oh yeah, and, oh, and also just the inflection out of the line also made me realize, yeah, uh, what's this? The guy that got to voice Jean Renault's character in time. English is. Where did they come from? Is is Paul Mercier? They, it's straight up RE4 Leon. Back to the Future, giving you a whole other world of puns. Oh dear. <laughs> this is the stamp of a Sakai merchant. Sakai is a port city that trades with the West. A port city. Well, let's have a visit. Hmm. All right. It's not as bright and vibrant looking as Ima so, Showtown, but this is, this is but this is, uh, I think one of my more fondly remembered locations game. in Onimusha Three. Let's split up and search. Roger. All right, yeah. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Even in ancient Japan, the chicks dig Jean Renault. Glad to know that some things are timeless. God bless it.
Okay, now hold on. I need to get back to that other side. Yeah, it's just kind of nice having this environment in Onimusha 3 specifically because Onimusha 2 had you going back to like that one gold rush like mining town quite a few times and it was nice place to go to as far as being like a sort of reprieve from everything. There it is. Got some Oni meds. The white vest. Yes, this is... This, I believe, is what I need. Or no, no. Oh, I'm, I'm mistaking it for another. No, there's supposed to be a vest that you get where... If you have it equipped, it's supposed to make Akko flash the moment that an enemy's attack is during the frames in which you can counter with an E set. Have you seen this before? Have you seen a Timex? No. <laughs> so you have. No, no. Not me. Never. But you were... Look, I've got a business to run, pal. So move it. Hey, I just want to ask you a few questions. I told you, I don't know. Now scram. Oh, God. It's throwing me even up. more for a loop, realizing now that this English va actor dubbing over Jean Reno is just Leon from RE4. It really does not fit his figure at all. Like, oh, my God. Is there any way to get down to the beach or something? I guess not. Alright, time to go back the other direction. Okay. Yeah, just this kind of... chill location. Like, no combat or anything of any kind. Just explore. It... It's the briefest idea of, like, just there being any sort of, like... Still shot with a padlock. Damn. Okay. Shoot, is there like a magic mirror around here that I could use to check out with uh, that scroll? Because I'm pretty sure that unlocked like a new training section. Oh yeah, it is there. Hmm. Something sweet. Maybe like a melon. <coughs> okay, so... Let's actually see what's new in training. Oni bind, bind move. Hold square down or R1 to make it shine. Oh, right. That's the other thing you could do. Completely forgot that's a thing. Instead of pressing anything with square, you press triangle. Oh yeah, but that's also the other thing you can uh, do. Like, I think I did mention it technically. Yeah, yeah, just set him on fire. Yeah, I should have been doing that a whole lot more. Like, I forgot that that's a thing you can even do. Because I don't think it's a move where it's like, you're not able to do it until you get the scroll that teaches you about it. I think it's a case where you always have it, it's just the game later gives you a training mode option if you somehow didn't clue in on it at first.
Okay. Yeah, not much else to really say about how this one goes, I can tell. Oh my god, just let me out of the way, you fucker. Oh, phew, finally. Was worried about getting killed there, which makes me more worried about advanced. Yeah, I forget that every time at the start you don't have enough. You you have empty magic. Okay, I could just actually hang back this way and not even aggro like the the big dude with the with the wrecking ball. Oh no, he's already aggro. God damn it. Why was it locked onto him? Yeah, unsurprisingly, this seems a lot easier to manage than the uh, intermediate, just because of the fast enemies. There we go. Done. Another item out of this. Medicine. I'm good. Now we gotta find something to trade with that kid. Something sweet. A watermelon. But do I have money or a rare western item? Okay. Watch for a watermelon. Makes sense. I'm sure there's no long-term consequences for trading a modern-day Timex to, like, a feudal, ja feudal Japanese businessman. <laughs> Okay. I have to manually give it to him in the menu. Fine. Oh, there it is. Sir? The western ship arrives soon. <laughs> Already time, huh? We must go to greet them. We don't know what those monsters might do. Fool! You will cease calling them monsters. They are important clients. Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> it's off to the harbor then. Yes, sir. Oh. All right. The blacksmith key. Okay. Ah, shit, monsters. Just want... Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, just gonna keep farming this while I'm at it.
There we go. 420. And double. Actually, call me crazy. Now that I'm thinking more about... Maybe it's just because of how I've been able to get it with the... Uh, with multiple enemies at once. But I almost want to say that, like, the... Uh, that I'm actually getting rewarded with more orbs for block Isa. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Oh, well. That's all those orbs gone. Shit. Uh. Oh, come on. Stop screwing up the timing. There. Okay. Let's actually head over to that blacksmith now that we have the key. So I'm pretty sure this will get us like a new item. Oh, fuck this. Wow, I'm getting a lot of levels now. What do we got in here? Right here. Yeah, this. More medicine, that's good. A blue ring emanating pulse. We got our second weapon. An extending pole arm with blades at the end. The rice scent. Not to be confused with Ryzan, which is Samanosuke's blue electricity sword. Come on, just... There we go. Oh, fuck. I did not see him. Okay, I gotta switch this off. Where is he? Oh, he's literally down to the ground. All right, good enough. You know, it's a good thing I actually, now that I think about it, I didn't uh, spend any of my orbs on upgrading like the armor and gauntlet yet because now I can just do this. Please attack. These dudes are so passive it's kind of annoying. Please, just... Ah, oh, fuck. Why are you even aiming at the wrong person?
Okay, sometimes that's just better to deal with rather than locking on like that. Oh no. Oh fuck, I, I wanted to turn around and hit them. God damn it. Yeah, this is... Ha! Huh, can't hit me from up here, assholes! Oh, thank god, another eco-spirit. Oh, come on. Okay, so it's not infinite range, but it feels like it sometimes, depending on the area. Actually, now we can switch back. Yeah, this is kind of tedious how I'm doing it, but trust me, it's... I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth it in the long run doing it like this. Okay, now we can finally enhance. One, two, three. Yeah, it's still 6,000 total, like, getting each weapon from level one to level two. Okay, now I, I feel better about just working towards uh, upgrading our armor and or and uh, gauntlet. That should be fine. Okay, I think there's thing that we can do here, actually. Yeah, wasn't there, like, a thing I could do? Saying there's a way for me to get to the beach. I'm confused. I'll, I'll admit, even though I've had a walkthrough up for, like, situations like this, it's like I've not actually been following it nearly as closely as I probably should have, because otherwise I'm forgetting something as far as, like, how am I supposed to get down to the beach? Oh, wait, no, it's not at that spot. Nice. Ah, crap. Yeah, th yeah, this red vest, using it as much as possible is like a godsend. Oh, oh, that's where it was. Okay, fine. Now we can finally do this little puzzle box.
Okay. Come on. Yeah, that is like so many red orbs. It, it's definitely the best. There we go. Okay. I'm getting the timing. There we go. That was smooth. Yeah, maximizing this vest. Because I know I didn't take advantage of the vests nearly as much, I think, when I played through this game the first time. Now that I know how powerful the red vest is for getting a bunch of orbs, I, I feel like I can guarantee that I will have both Samonosuke and Jacques to max well, well before I reach the end of the game for both of them. Jacques. A western ship will be docking at the harbor. Did you find anything? In fact, I did. Take a look. <laughs> so that damn Gildenstern is involved. Who is Gildenstern? He's a Genma scientist. He's trouble developing new kinds of Genma and scheming. A scientist. Let's try that ship. I might find a clue that helps me get home. All right, then. Let's go to the harbor. They're literal washing machines. Like, come on. Let's get some let's get some yellow orbs back. Oh. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, now hold on. Wait, hold on. I think there's like another puzzle box I must have missed somewhere. Like, what? Oh my god, seriously? Oh, no, it's in this door. Wow, two eco spirits. It's my lucky day. And a bunch of red orbs. Thank you. And some... And some yellows for good measure. Okay. Yeah, I do think I need to keep paying more attention to, like, more than just, like, the map side of, like, this walkthrough that I have open on my screen. D. There we go. Wait. 
What? Oh, fuck. I used up the wrong... Oh, fuck off. No. No. That was, that was a healing item when I really didn't need to use it. Fuck. God damn it. Ugh. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting real sloppy with this. But hey, at least I still got all like my upgrades in so far. I just gotta redo this particular one. Okay. And just keep going forward. I'm gonna switch back to Rice Sen as well. Nice triple. Ah. Oh. It does not feel fair for them to like backflip out of out of that. It's the sort of thing that feels very unsatisfying is like when you like if you play Ninja Gaiden and you and you do like an ultimate technique and you know everything was in range and it should have connected. But an enemy backflipped, or worse, you got caught up on the environment, and then the whole animation just whiffs. And your day feels ruined because of it. Alright, now let's do this again. And let's use both of these right now properly. Not the Oni Med. The Oni Medicine. We don't need to do that. Cannot use here. Right. Yeah, because once we switch, switch back to Samonosuke, that uh, Akko takes those to him. Yeah, we're just on a tear now is the thing. No, 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 fuck. God damn it. There we go. Good. A bit tedious going out of those exact same menus over and over. Maybe, but I don't care. It's fine. Okay, let's do this again. Properly. Yeah, just... Like, there's the funny idea of how it's like... Like, the reason why there's all, like, these modern appliances, like, in this storehouse is entirely because they're the results of Guildenstern's, like, experiments with time travel. <laughs> Alright, back to it. Now we can proceed as normal. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I, th I think thinking about it more, it's like... The thing with, like, just the red orbs being released from all this is, like, it's not just, like, blocky sense seeming to produce the most. I think it's in conjunction with, like, the... With the, uh, with the red vest. It just produces more red souls than, like, it otherwise... Than you otherwise would get. That said, though, with all your, like, AI partners, I really wish they didn't just, like, block, like, your ability to move around like that. It's kind of obnoxious. Okay. Oh, wait, there was still one more thing in there that I forgot to grab. God damn it. I think it was on... Oh, yeah, it was just, like, a... A remoir. <laughs> well, oh, I just realized one of those objects was a TV. It was a widescreen CRT on top of that. Rotated on its side. <laughs> like, I already know how, like, dodgy it could be, like, trying to, like... Like, have a, have a, like, a CRT rotated on its side. And that was, like, just the warnings they always gave for, like, the... For your, uh... What was it? The... Like, uh, just the 4x3 ones. Can't imagine how much more that's of a headache huge. that would be doing it to a widescreen CRT. So that's the Genma ship. If we had Parts of me have always wished that I could get one of those widescreen ones. But I then I remembered that th that was in the era of when they were experimenting with, like... Enhanced definition TVs and that those are notoriously not good for retro gaming because Even though it's CRT technology that was when they were starting to lose some of the The advantages CRTs traditionally had Ah uh, yeah Here he is This is a dude you actually get to play as in like one of the bonus unlockable games here that's Heihachiro Honda, the famous spear fighter and vassal of the Tokugawa. A family alive with Nobunaga. What terrible luck. Hey, wait! The ship is moving! Oh, no. Damn. Samanosuke, I'll cover you. Oh, wow. Slowdown is actually happening. Yo! You're not the only one with a pole arm, buddy. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn! It's a Tekken spinoff. Yeah, I have no idea why it is that they. You're strong. Because this dude's based on an actual Don't figure worry. in Japanese history. Like again, I forget time. the first name, but like his last name is Honda, but they go with the middle name of Heihachi, and it's a similar situation they actually do with like Samanosuke. Oh, Samanosuke is like do do? a. Like, that's a middle name they gave to an actual real-life person to kind of justify it being their own creation. Because it's actually Hidemitsu, Mitsuhide Akechi. Dad! What is it, Omi? It's Dad! Dad! Th this makes no fucking sense! He somehow knows that he needs to... I must get this to <laughs> that, like... Wait, Omri, the key to his bike? What's going on? Yeah, his bike somehow got oh, sent to the past. This this is such stupid Bye. plot contrivance. Thanks, Otto. And of course it had to be carried out by the worst character. I brought your key. Look. How'd you find it so fast? Oh, we had it ready for me. Really? Oh boy. All right, here it comes. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's not voiced by Jean Reno. This is voiced straight up by RE4 Leon's voice actor. This is Paul Mercier. Jean Reno actually does speak at the beginning of the game, but it's entirely in French, and I think all of his recorded lines amount to about three minutes at most. 
Like, this is a very... This is a fun game, but it is a stupid game. Let me off the stairs, damn it. Ugh. Oh, come on. How did I not... All right. Are any of you going to deal the first strike? Anyone? Oh, fuck. It's never in a moment where I can catch it, though. That's the problem. You know, screw it. Oh, no! Wow, good job with the friendly fire, asshole. Oh, and it just is not... Why? Okay, I gotta... I gotta get back to just healing I <laughs> uh, To, like... Okay... All right, that worked out. And now for a trick treasure box. Okay, there we go. Another power jewel, don't mind if I do. I guess we'll just look inside. See what we got. Alright. Little map of the ship. Yeah, fuck you, Gildenstern. What? Oh, God. Wait, why? Oh, come on. Yeah, these these weirdo little things. Okay, I I don't think the rice ends doing anything for it. Better switch to Enja. Yeah, like so. Yeah. Wheelhouse key. Interesting. Another puzzle box. Excellent. Done. A wood charm, which is basically your talisman of the game. Alright. That's pretty good. The logbook. Now, I gotta make sure I can hold on and, and like, not use that wood charm. Because it's literally a rebirth talisman. Stuck in place, huh? Well, I tried. What the? Ugh. Yeah, ships could go on the water.
What the hell? The ship must be heading for the Genma hideout. Hmm. Uncle. Yes, Jack. Could you please thank Henri? Tell him he was a big help. And also, please, tell Michelle to look after Henri for me. Yes, I will. All right. Back to the present we go. And I think this section that we're going to be going through with Samanosuke, once I'm done with that... So, the bike fell into the ocean? But your dad is like, I, th I think once I'm done with this next Samanosuke segment, that'll be en the end of today's stream. And Michelle, mm. he wants you to look after Henri. Yes, I understand. Let's go, Akko. We've stayed long enough. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. Hello? What? It's for you. Oh, of course. Hello, Gildan Stern, you little shit. <laughs> well, hello, Samanosuke. Gildan Stern. <gasps> Come to the basement of Notre Dame. I haven't spoken to you in the studio. Michelle, Notre Dame is that temple by the square, right? Yes. But what is it? Semenoske! You stay here with Henri. Okay. See where this is going. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brought, uh, oh, yeah, we literally did just bring back, like, the old, uh... Oh, God, that's right. We've never even bothered, like, upgrading the tent so up to this point. <laughs> they brought back these freaking door seals from the first game. I'm sure I'm gonna have to. Oh god, I'm not soft lock it in this section, aren't I? Or wait, no, there, there's a way to go back to the sewers. You, oh my god. Looks like I'm gonna have to grind again. All because I neglected upgrading the fucking swords. And I'm so close to upgrading the gauntlet to level 3 anyway. Fine, fine, we'll just do this. Actually, you know, never mind. Forget going through Notre Dame today. Knowing that I have to, like, end the stream like this. There we go. Wow, that was a full thousand bonus. That is... Man, like, the dividends you get from... All, like, using the red vest. Oh, come on. Oh, fuck. Okay, god damn it. Damn it, okay. Uh. 
Oh crap, come on. Okay, just... Come on. Come on. I don't have all day. Please, can you just... Ugh, come on. I, I'm still inconsistent on the timing. go. Yeah, I really do hate just, like, having to fight these dudes. Like, in this narrow tunnel. Actually, you know what? Fine. I'm getting, like, so many herbs anyway. I might as well. Ah. It comes out so fast that I am unsure if I even get the perfect guard or not. That I just miss my opportunity because of it. Will you fuckers? hate these. There we go. Okay. I'm still gonna need a lot more. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I've really not been using any of like the Onimusha one weapons despite a lot despite having them. Alright, might as well. But yeah, they got no charge attacks as you might imagine. They're still pretty good when it comes to getting E-Sense, if you want. So that's pretty good. All right, let's enhance. Maximum strength, excellent. Nice, and we got Tenso to level two. I am fine with that. Ugh. Yeah, that was, that was a side Diversion I was not expecting because I forgot that they brought back those multi lock doors. Oh, yeah, and let's save for good measure. You know, actually, like getting this amount of like red orbs didn't take so long that I might as well actually pr continue through like the, the next level since I'm at it. But I do want to try... Okay, no, they're not in here. Damn it. Ah, 
Actually, let's remove this for now just in case because I do want... Uh, I do want to get a bit more health and magic on the trek back because there's still more of these. Great. Come on! Oh, shit. Alright, fine, fine. We'll just do it this way, I guess. These weapons are, like, maxed out anyway. Might as well just expend all my magic since I don't really use them. God, the freaking long trek back through these sewers. All right. Got another Oni orb out of it, at least. There we go. Yeah, I guess that was not nearly as long as it could have been. Ugh, oh, finally. Back to it. Yeah, I'm actually gonna start investing in the armor just to get that defense. Whew. Still feels really bizarre thinking about just... Why would they feel the need to, like, bring back this lock system? Especially when this game is designed to be as, like, incredibly linear as it is. Can I please get you two in the same spot, not separated by pillars? Oh, well, good to know level 3 charge attacks are still potent, even if it's not, like, the insanely long combo of... of, like, the... Uh, of, like, the previous game. Okay, come on. Oh, you bastard. Why are you... Can I please just get a Isen on you? Or something? Like, why... Nah, screw it. Ah. I want to see if this... I can still get it to work. Yep, yeah, I can. Wow, that, that was destructive. <laughs> Level three into, like, Isen chain. No need for strict timing. Ugh. Assuming I could still get it again. Yeah, but even that that's still fine as a backup, I think. <laughs> there. 
Oh. Yeah, push it. Why not? Oh, but I think there's still some things here that I might have missed. Green vest. I'm trying to remember what this does. Draw souls and life out from living enemies. Right, yeah, you equip that and like every hit just produces souls. That's pretty good. Okay. Ice arrows. Not really been making use of like all the other arrows up to this point, but I mean, it's whatever. It's more fun to hit things with swords in this game. Being honest. All right. It's a first aid kit. Ah. <sighs> Oh, wait. I just realized I actually already have that that scroll. I picked it up a while ago. Let's that's another training section. So yeah, let's get it right now. No reason not to. I'm already pretty good at deflect critical. <laughs> Assuming it puts me in a position where I'm actually able to like knowingly deflect all these. All right. So far, so good. Yeah, again, like in general, deflect criticals, significantly easier to manage than just the standing neutral ones. Right, I forgot. Yeah, it's, it needs to be that one. Oh boy, this. Oh. Okay, this might be a bit tricky. Why are you? Oh my god, just fucking... Will you please... There we go! Oh man. Well, that's beginner. Let's see if I have what it takes to get through intermediate and advanced, which I'm worried I may not. Because so far, like, this is now going into the speedy enemies. Oh, come on. Do a move I know I can deflect. Stop it, that lunge, I can't. Ah, you fucker. All right, I at least got that. Okay, so far so good. Oh God, it's these. No, what am I expected to do against them? Ah! There we go! Okay. That might be an easier one to deal with, I think, when it 
I have to... Oh, I missed it! Okay, that overhead is, like, not safe for that. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, why do I keep... Yeah, it's just straight-up guard crushes. It's like, there's no point. Like, why can you not do any other regular fucking attack? Oh, come on, no. I need to... There we go. Oh, but it only destroys the armor. Damn it. Okay. I think I got my perfect rhythm for that. It's on the second swing. Like, have him whip the first one. Go in. That that makes sense. Okay, this is going to be probably a nightmare because it's going to put me in a... Against the real big one. Or not. Not yet. Oh, come on. Jeez, he moves fast. These are clearly enemies, in, like, later in the level, if not the rest of the game. Obviously. Yeah, they're, they're way more... They're way more aggro. Okay, come on. Okay, so far so good. Oh man, come on. Oh my god. How am I? Okay, the horizontal swing is like my best bet, but... No! Fucker! Ah! Please let this be the last one, actually. That not perfect. Ah, crap. No. Ah. I might not get this, actually. Yeah. Fuck it. No. <sighs> That's probably the last enemy, too. But I... I don't care right now. No. It's cool, but let's just continue as far as we can in Notre Dame. Maybe even, like, finish this level. Yeah, deflect critical is easy until you get to the point where it is like... Oh, hold on. Can you, please? Yep, like that. Okay, let's head downstairs. All right.
die. More eco spirits. Oh god, this one. Oh, oh god, okay. This, this is gonna be kind of dangerous trying to solve this, but at least time has stopped. Oh, come on! Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have... There's like a... There's a switch I could have pressed. Like it's it's in the next alcove. I should have I should have done that because that'll like stop the spinning blades. This is stupid. Ugh, just getting ahead of myself every time. We'll just go through right now. All right. Jeez, yeah, it's like because of how fast it comes out, it's like that seven chain is straight up like no joke. It is literally automatic. He was doing attacks before I could hit the button to like move on. I guess it makes enough sense, though, if you break it down. Okay, now that's one where I'm going to need another weapon. So we'll go this way. Okay, so, yeah, we got to head back up topside, because that's where, like, our next puzzle is. We got us uh, a special talisman that lets us absorb darkness into our gauntlet, not just souls. <laughs> See what we got. Still got probably a ton of enemies respawn though. Yeah, we do. Oh, come on. Nope. I just want another combo, please. Oh, 
Oh my god, please, just... There we go! Wow, that would that that range was ridiculous. Like you saw that. Wow, yeah. I I'm so glad that's a thing that they just let you do. <laughs> Like, especially because it feels like its own reward. Once, once you're able to, like... Like, uh, like once you've got level 3 charge moves unlocked, that's ob uh, then, like, if you pull off a standing e -send like that, which is always, like, one of the hardest things to do in the Onimusha games, then, like, I feel like you basically earn the right to, like, a free 7-hit combo. Like, no other way about it. Alright. Now to just keep doing this in order, because I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be done. And then we'll get a new a new weapon out of this. There we go. All right. And this one is Kuga, which is just a huge long sword. <laughs> I'm actually gonna dump some more of these souls into our armor. Man, already 25,000 absorbed in general. And maybe someday I'll figure out like the the solution to that final deflect training. Because I know with, like, most of the other enemies that it was showing me in the advanced category, like, I could easily do it. It's just they're so... They are way too fast to react to in normal situations. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking pillar! <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. I still, I'm still waiting on that vest down the line that just lets me see the, the critical timings. Which is why I'm not really investing my eco spirits into straight up anything else. Oh my god, I could not see where... Ah! God damn it. You bastard! I can't see shit because of the camera!
I really dislike how they changed up those particular orb de uh, demons by making it so that, like, they can just float through the geometry like they're sin scissors. I feel like they just did not do that by design in, uh, in the first two games. It was real dumb. Like, I'm already tolerant enough of, like, that particular enemy type in DMC. I don't really need it infecting other games. Oh, no, I missed up. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Come on. Jeez, just... I really wish it was a lot more consistent figuring out what is the range with which you can go from one enemy to the next in an ascend chain. Because sometimes it feels like it is the entire room's length. And other times it feels like a more reasonable amount, but that might just be because of you getting caught up on like some stupid geometry and the like. Ugh, okay. Rope ladder. Excellent. Definitely gonna need that. Oh, fuck. I <laughs> could not see that. Okay. Statue charm. Wait, hold on. That's the actual talisman of rebirth? Then what is the statue charm? Uh, or the, the wood charm, rather. Or I guess it's something else. Oh well. Never mind. Jeez! You can never go that far at any point with, like, that type of chain in... in Onimusha 2. Oh, crap. Hold on. Actually, let's see. Let's get some... Let's exploit some more red orbs out of this. See, again, that's what I was talking about. It's like... Ah, whatever. This sword's pretty good, though. I mean, Tenso's light and, uh, light and fast, obviously, and it's dual swords, which is always cool. Actually, hold on. That does remind me. Now that we do have, like, a new proper weapon, I need to test out, like, its 10-point slash. I gotta see how the timing on that differs, because this is clearly not a super, like... This is not an extremely fast-hitting weapon like the actual, uh, uh, like the Tenso are, so it may or may not be easier to time.
again. Of course, as soon as, like, I tried to get red orbs out of this, I got hit way more and my health went down by a lot. I just want to test this. Okay, I guess, I guess like, the ability to do 10-point slashes kind of falls apart if you're trying to do it, like, with charges. It just becomes increasingly more difficult. Yeah, I'm only getting the two. Oh, come on. No, fuck it. I just gotta... Yeah, I think I just might be more comfortable, because of the pace of it all, just doing the Tenso's 10-point slash instead. Alright, let's enhance. I should be able to get red armor to level 2. Yes, I did. Now it's a bit more orangish. Yeah, but it's fine. Now then. Through that door is like the end of this level, and I think with that it will also be like the end of the stream. I don't think it's a boss fight or anything. Oh, wait, there's a magic well here. How convenient. Oh, because I wasn't facing it. Of course. Ugh. <sighs> If my work is successful, it will be possible to freely move across time. Then I can bring Nobunaga along with a swarm of Genma here to destroy all the worthless human vermin. And the Genma will control this world! Quiet! It will not be so! Oh, great. Products like you will burn in hell! Wait! <laughs> yeah, we'll just do it right here. I don't care. Now then. Yeah, not really a boss fight, admittedly. There's a Tengu chest with, like, another type of arrow. And this takes us to the next location of the game. Which, unfortunately... I wish I had more time to, to stream in order to show this area off fully because this actually is like another one of the 
coolest parts of it. This is actually one of the levels where you're going to actually do some active switching off between both characters. What is going on? And and using that as a way to like solve puzzles. What is it? I can't hop across time. I'm not sure what's happening, but I'd say there's something wrong with the flow of time in here. The flow of time? Maybe it has something to do with time falls. Don't don't say those words like you think you suddenly understand what what it all means. Like this is some fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, but we're just gonna we're just gonna continue along until we can get to the uh, so sort of first save uh, point and then call it quits for today. I mean, aside from a few hiccups like a straight up game over and having to like hold on. It's part of it. Okay, just where's the? Oh, it's hidden over here. Right, there's the Oni medicine. Yeah, just a few hiccups, game over, is having to like, re uh, to like kind of reload the save file for other reasons. Time folder, Akko can freely move between Jack in the past and Samonosuke in the future. Oh yeah, this whole thing. It like this room's gonna be involved a whole lot in this entire section. And ultimately, like it's a pretty cool thing they do. Like it it makes logical sense they would take advantage of the idea of like like swapping off between two characters in real time to solve puzzles in two different parts of the same level. But like I said, today's session ends here. Which is a pretty good, like, third to a half of the game done, I think. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good progress all around. Maybe in between the next time I, like, between now and, like, when I next stream, I'll, I'll see about doing that deflect critical time, uh, training and get that, see if I can get that out of the way because I feel like I'm so close. I feel like that big dude with, like, the jagged broadsword looking thing, I feel like I can figure that out and that has to be the last enemy you need to do the deflect on. I'll figure it out eventually, but... Thanks everyone for tuning in and watching. This game, as I as I said before, is pretty ridiculous, but it's admittedly like fun, still in in spite of all that. Like th like this is the whole moment of like Onimusha jumping the shark, but it doesn't lose sight of the fact that it's still like an action game and a pretty fun one at that. As for when I stream next, um, I'm probably going to cut back on the amount of days for streaming this and save them. I'm going to save, like, the rest of this game anytime I stream it for, like, the afternoon, like, early, uh, late morning time slot for me. Mostly because I've gotten kind of lax on this. I need to get back to editing and encoding, like, the, the videos for, like, my next Let's Play. And I, uh, and... Uh, I, I just rather like get all those out of the way so that I can then schedule out times to record commentary for that and get the get the next one underway. So look forward to Wednesday then, around the same time that I would usually start these to catch the 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 next part of Onimusha three. So you all have a good rest of your Saturdays or Sundays. I I assume like if it's already like in Europe. I'm pretty sure it's already past that for, uh, uh, for Arian. Okay, take care, everyone. Later.